hello again so uh, another assessment problem we are here uh, we have to use the source transformation method to find the voltage which is denoted by this small v uh, across a to home resistor so how to proceed in this uh, uh, assessment problem first of all we have to see uh, we, what are the sources here so the first source is air voltage or the second one also is the voltage source the third one is the current source so we can transform these two sources into the current source and after transforming them into the current source we can see that this is the same node and through this node we can apply kcl to find out the cumulative current here so let me proceed here because now here we have this voltage source and the series resistor similarly this voltage source and the resistor which is in series with this circuit so again using the same uh, uh, concept here the same convention we will follow here as we have followed in our previous example that we will use blue for the uh, solve circuit while uh, black will remain the same so in order to transform this circuit into the current source what will i do the first step is to write the current source and then the same resistor in parallel with that current source okay so what is the value of this current uh, uh, resistor that is uh, that will remain the same which is of 20 ohm and uh, what is the value of the current source here that is basically uh, i is equal to v by r v is 120 r is 20 so this is now 6 amps okay so the value of this current source is 6 amps similarly the other source here is the 60 volts and the uh, series resistor with this one is a 5 uh, ohm so transforming this one into a current source but we can see that in conventional current the polarity of this voltage source is of opposite uh, as that of the 120 volt source so that's why i will write the current direction downwards um, and the same resistor will be in parallel with this source okay what is the value of this resistor it will remain same I mean this is 5 ohm and uh, similarly the value of the current source is what is that because now we have a voltage source of 60 volts and the resistor is of 5 ohm so I will get here 12 amps okay so the value of it is now 12 amps so now we have transformed this circuit and the remaining circuit will be this is the remaining circuit of 36 amps sorry um, this is the this is the source so now we have this 36 amp source and the resistor of 6 ohm and my two last resistors this one is 1.6 uh, while this one is the 8 ohm okay so now we can see here that here we have three sources one one is this one the second one is this one while the third one is this one and all of these sources are connected with a same node here okay we can see here that this is the same node so all of these can be written like a single source here okay so let me draw them here with the blue color again so our sources here will be this this and this this can be drawn like here uh, so this is now the 6 amp source this is the 12 amp source while this one is the 36 amp source okay so the current cumulative current which it provides will be uh, this is the 36 will be the cumulative current provided by this circuit okay what will be the value of current here that would be that can be found out by using the kcl and by writing the kcl i will get here 36 plus 6 minus 12 this will be equal to 0 because these two are in the same direction while this 12 is coming towards the uh, node so now i will get what i will get here i will get here 
30 amps okay so that is the 30 amp uh, source uh, similarly uh, let me move it here okay um, Okay. so now uh, this is my circuit uh, similarly other all the resistors which we have found out are here this is the 20 ohm resistor this is the 5 ohm resistor while the other resistors which we didn't touch yet are basically 6 1.6 and 8 okay these are our resistors so now we can easily see here that first we have transformed this one and we can also transform this parallel combination into a single circuit as well okay so oh, how would it become so r prime let me call it r prime so r prime the parallel combination of these two would be 5 into 20 divided by 5 plus 20 so it will become 100 by 4 uh, sorry 100 by 25 which is equal to the 4 ohm okay so now writing them in a cumulative circuit this will be denoted with a single source of 30 amps because the cumulative direction is towards uh, the node and similarly this resistor here is also in parallel and this is a 4 ohm okay the untouched circuit can be drawn here like as we have done in our previous examples okay uh, so 1.6 6 and here it is 8 ohm okay now uh, let me proceed so in this uh, procession i can see here again that these two resistors are in parallel with each other four and six are in parallel so uh, let me call it r double prime and the parallel combination of these two resistor will be four into six divided by four plus six that is 24 by 10 or this will be 2.4 ohms okay so now that is the uh, cumulative resistance here and this one and the value of my equivalent resistance sorry as i haven't touched them yet so I'm using the convention which I have followed so far. So 2.4 um, ohm is here. Similarly, the untouched circuit or the circuit which I haven't solved yet is here 1.6 and 8. Okay. So now I can see here that the same circuit can again be transformed into uh, the circuit which will be easy to solve. And here I can see that this current source and the resistor 2.4 can be transformed into a voltage source which will be like here uh, this will be a voltage source and the same resistor will be here 2.4 okay and the two resistors will remain same here this is 1.6 and this is 8 okay uh, so now what will be the value of uh, this voltage source the value of this voltage source is again v is equal to i r the value of i is known which is 30 the value of r is known which is 2.4 so 30 multiplied by uh, 2.4 is 70 2 volts okay so the value of this voltage source is 72 volts now similarly i can see here that these two uh, resistors are basically in series with each other so now uh, writing them uh, 
in the equivalent uh, resistance form i can see that when the resistors are in series uh, i can add them so adding 2.4 and 1.6 i will get here 8 and 1.6 and 2.4 this will be equal to the forum okay i haven't touched it yet i am using the same convention uh, let me use the same convention which i have been following uh, so plus minus this is the 72 volts and again here 4 ohm okay and this is my 8 ohm resistor and i have to find out the value of the voltage here so i can use any method whatever method you can like to find out the voltage here because now this is a simple series circuit you can find out the value of current here and after finding out the current you can multiply that current with this 8 ohm resistor similarly uh, other methods you can also follow but i am following the uh, voltage divider method here because uh, it will be simpler here so now in order to find the voltage here which is small v that will be equal to the voltage across which i want uh, the resistor across which i want to find the, the voltage divided by the uh, equivalent resistance in my series circuit which is this 8 plus 4 multiplied by this 72 so it will be now v equal to 8 by 12 multiplied by 72 uh, so when i will calculate it i will get the value 48 volts so that is the answer of uh, this question in which we have find out the uh, unknown voltage by using the source transformation methods all these steps are mentioned here we have used the same convention which we have been following on our source transformation methods which we have done before so that's it and uh, i hope um, this is sufficient for you to grasp all the concepts which are related to the source transformation methods if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section um, thank you so much and i will see you